mean, I just drive by a home and I remember, you know, who was there. Working with hospice is not for everyone. My husband's name was Santa, and we met in uh, New Jersey, 1964, and we married in New York City. I loved my dad so much. I was a daddy's little girl, and uh, we were very, very close. He was a very special man, very caring and gentle. My husband was an engineer and uh, worked for the same company for over 40 years and we were almost married 45 years to just to a few days before he passed on. I was first introduced to Emeticis last December when my dad's health took a turn for the worse and we thought that he needed hospice. And the people that came were just wonderful, and just the people that we have been exposed to at Emeticis have just been the right people in the right profession. They're so caring. And he had another four months of decent quality of life, and so we were so thankful that we had him around for that much longer. Well, we only got once, you know. It's, uh kind of like it's not a job, it's more of a calling. I just enjoy it. I don't think of it much as a job because I get to meet some wonderful people and take care of them and see that their needs are met and that they have a peaceful, comfortable death. Uh, just as it is a process coming into the world and there is a struggle and a period of time before a child is born, there's a process in the ending phase. And for some people it's um, days, other people it's weeks. What I truly believe is that um, there is this wonderful transition to another world and that we want to be part of that. It's, something that is very valuable to us to help the family understand that it's n not a fearful thing, it is a beautiful thing. The day that my dad passed, uh, the nurse that was here was not supposed to be here. She normally, I think, came like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and she happened to be here on a Tuesday, I think it was. And it was really just incredible that she was here when, you know, my dad took his last breaths. You're put where you're supposed to be for that moment, and I find that that's true. It's just like things happen for reasons, and whatever might stop you, and you go later, you discover, you know, it was meant to be. A lot of times when they're first admitted, Patients and families are just so overwhelmed because they get all of this stuff and and when they get to talking with us and stuff We don't talk about death and dying every day. We talk about their life and in a way they celebrate their life when we visit You know we talk about you know how they met and and their dreams and things that they've done and their accomplishments and and just bringing back those good memories it really makes a difference with them some of the things that we had in common were we both loved photography and he wanted me to have his camera after he passed away. We uh, just got back from a trip to Australia and New Zealand here. This was a trip that my husband and I had talked about doing. So now it was my daughter and I that went instead. You know, I took pictures with his camera and there were so many things that we saw and did. And we would constantly say, you know, Dad would have loved this. This would have been great for Dad to see, and we can feel Dad here in the things that we do. You know, and we see his pictures. We reminisce about, you know, before his self took a turn for the worse, all the wonderful times that we had together. And a lot of times patients have to hear, I'm going to be okay. You know, you, you can go, I'm going to be okay or that someone's gonna look out for them 
just something to find on peace and all of that combined just makes a patient have a good death. The day before he passed, my brother and he had had a very deep conversation and my brother, you know, let my dad know that whenever he was ready to go, that we would make it because my dad was such a great dad that we could survive and make it on because he had done everything that he could for his family and my dad was taking his last breaths I said to my dad it's because you were such a great dad that we're gonna make it and so hopefully that made it easier for my dad to t transition on and you know it made it easier for us knowing that he was such a great man and that we were able to spend so much quality family time together. Uh, you know it takes special people for that job to be in hospice care. And every day when I go out to um, be part of this um, I feel like that I receive more than than I give to those that I serve. Death and dying and living and getting every bit of life out of the day that you can get, that's all been, that's all I've ever known.